So previously, we had the keel timber delivered. And then we decided to have a party to have everybody help us bring the keel timber into the boathouse. It was a great success, so we decided to do it again when we did the preliminary shaping of the keel timber. Trying to figure out how best to incorporate that knot and still stay out of the sap. Sharpie's not really doing it. I need to mark this out so I can cut it. And to be able to mark it, I need to be able to draw on it. But we had put this oil on it to keep the wood from drying out, and I can't draw on the oil. So this is called a power planer, and it's got knives here, and it spins and it takes the top layer of the wood off. So that's what I'm doing over here. You can see there's no more oil. So now I can write on it, cut it, and then we'll put oil on it after. And my lines will be below. I'll also be able to see them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Glad that answers your question. Yeah. With the keel timber planed, Steve then marked out the rough shape of the keel timber and started cutting. Pretty cool to see some lines starting to come out of that big piece of wood. And we think everybody enjoyed the party. We even did a Q&A session. There were some great questions and we really appreciated everybody's enthusiasm. And like any good party, we had food of course. We did a roast just like last time. And yes, Stu was there to save the day. So a little bit after the party, we had some local college students come by who were interested in the project. They wanted to help for the day. So here they were, <laughs> put them to work. So, so far we marked it out and we cut as deep as we could with this massive skill saw. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna fire up the drill and pray to God we don't break these bits. We go all the way down through until we pop out the other side, every few feet. And then we'll flip this, which is a process in itself. <laughs> Spring it back and cut from the other side. That'll get us almost all the way through. And then I have a huge two-man saw. I'm just gonna finish it off by hand. All right, so that's the plan. Steve went about preparing the keel timber so that we could mark the other side and flip it. We had the students weigh the leg. Not the best job, but it needs to be done. It's important, and they took it in stride. Now just be careful, if something were to break and this were to come crashing down, even if your leg was like here and the cribbing caught it, it would still shatter your leg on the way by. Right. So stay clear. And if anything seems like it's really going wrong, just get out of the way. Right. Go for it. So come along works a mechanical advantage. So the lever moving this little ratchet part gives you a lot of leverage. So it'll release it, start on the lowest one, push down, and that lets you release this catch. You release that catch, come up, let the catch catch it. That's so slick. It went one too far. Release it. What's that called? Just keep going. This thing's called a come along. If you don't go quite that yeah. far, it'll be easier to release. Go down all those far as you can, but when you come back up, stop a little gotcha, bit gotcha. higher. A little bit lower, rather. 
There you go. Bingo, bingo. So this is a uh, linseed oil on it. We want to shave off all the linseed oil so that we can actually see what we're working with and be able to draw a line on it. Why does it have the oil on it? Is it um, so this wood is green, which means it was, it has not been seasoned yet. It still has a lot of moisture in it. So as the log dries, the outside dries faster than the inside. And when it does that, the outside wants to shrink and the inside wants to stay fat and the log splits, which you can actually see it doing here a little bit. So the oil helps mitigate that. Okay. Um, but you can't write or draw really on the oil. So we're gonna take it off, we'll mark our lines, we'll cut it, we'll get it finished cut, and then we'll put another coat of oil on it. Gotcha. There's a lock for the trigger. <laughs> The top layer of the keel timber needed to be planed off so that we could spring a bat through our freshly drilled holes. on either side and then this end is getting trimmed down to fit the uh, lead keel anyways so this is all gonna get shaped in quite a bit it's just like a guess of whether or not our cuts are gonna line up this is what bud meant by drill and pray <laughs> So at first you plot all those points and then you use a batten to connect all the curves and make it all smooth and flowy. Mm -hmm. So then we're reusing the batten to plot the points here. So the saw obviously can't cut through this whole beam at once. Right. So we marked the other side, cut, drilled. Now we kind of have an idea of where we are. I see. And we're using the batten to kind of best guess where our cut's underneath are. Because we're hoping that they up. line up. Okay. No, they won't. <laughs> but sure. hopefully as close as we can get them. With the battens on both sides sprung, fared, and then marked, it's time to get to cutting. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And he's off. Okay. He's not going to cut through, it's wire. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, right. This is, <laughs> this is just getting the, it's getting the top chunk top. off, right? Yeah. You need to get a hot cover cut for all the help. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll put the help to work this fall and have to build a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve. Just like in the last video, guys, you gotta sing the sea shanty for her to <laughs> have the motivation to keep going. I don't know any sea shanties. I guess yeah, we should work on that. <laughs> sure, that's fine. Everybody needs a break. I think it's like right about to go. I thought it like move. Yeah. Just about to pull off. Yeah. See what that does. Oh. One. <laughs> two. Ow. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I did it. So this is part one of the shaping the keel timber. We're doing our best to get videos out as fast as possible, but as you know, with work things can get delayed. 
So we'll be putting out part two next week instead of in two weeks. We're trying to catch up a little bit. If you want to be a part of making the videos come out a little faster, please consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. Now about that chainsaw. You thought that was for the keel timber, right? Nah. Come back next week to check that out, see where we got the lead keels, and see the rest of the shaping of the keel timber. <laughs>